Alleluia, Alleluia. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Whoever loves me, lo, whoever lives in me, and I in him, will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord. And Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a, a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again. And out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, this is one of the readings that uh, St. Rose of Lima uh, really took seriously, and it was her relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, and from a very young age, uh, she, she fell in love with Christ, and she experienced Christ's love very personally. Uh, and, and really, that is what drove her whole life. And even though her parents were trying to force her to get married and have a family and the like, she found Christ to be her spouse. Wow. Uh, and in many ways, whether we're married or not, it's that kind of relationship that Jesus is calling us to, that kind of intimacy, uh, and that kind of buried treasure, or pearl of great price. Uh, and I guess part of the question is, what are we willing to do to, one, find that buried treasure in our own lives, but better yet, finding the buried treasure and finding the, the gift of Jesus' love, uh, what are we willing to do with our lives and commitment to Him? One of the things that uh, uh, St. Rosa Lima uh, is also a patron saint of is those who are suffering, especially those who are suffering in families. Uh, because that was part of her life. Uh, and she literally, at times, would put on a, a, uh, a crown of thorns, uh, part of her penance, but also part of the sign that was happening in her family itself. Uh, and yet, in the midst of all that, still found Christ and still found the love of Jesus Christ. So let's pray for that uh, as we enter into this Eucharist and ask for her intercession. 